welcome this is to assume that we have successfully updated our bio data our, our profile you are being called the right name we are being given your right full title and all of that your correct email address and everything have been done using the profile here if you have not done it you can go back to the video that that touches it here we are actually going straight into the courses to see how you can work on the courses assigned or allocated to you so it's it should be this should mark and hand to you sending course material to the class rep and the class rep would send the material only to those people that are loyal to him or that are loyal to her or that are his friend or her friend so you can simply put the course material here if you so care to distribute it all the students will register then they will have access to the material if you have tests you can conduct it here if you have any video that you want to share you can share it here you can conduct your there will be separate videos touching all of this anyway now let's assume that i have the code this course this very course given to me boss 211 okay what you need to do after logging in you will see the course here. so you simply click on it this is where your work starts as a lecturer and we have the great task of putting the content there we have the great if it is if, if it is the video you want to put there you can put it there and all of that you have the rights to do all of that right here but the first thing i want you to do is now you've gotten access to the course you want to know who are other people that have access to the course let's assume the course is my own i'm the only one assigned the course okay i know i'm not supposed to have any other lecturer at my pedestal with the in terms of privilege i'm not supposed to have any other person that is having privilege as a lecturer for that course if we are two only two of us should be there now you come to the participant here you will see the list of people that are also enrolled for that course and the and their level of enrollment you will see you can see for for this very course see all the lecturers that we have here this course has 15 participants when students start joining you will see all of them will start registering the course you will see it so instead of facilitator you will see them as students 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 student. now in a situation where i am supposed to be the only one that will be on this course what you're supposed to do is come to this last uh button here you can see on a row click it okay and you'll see on a row you have removed the person do so for others that are not supposed to have access to the course okay at the end of the day you will then have only those people that are legitimately supposed to be in the course okay so that no other person will be with the course so in the situation where you have one or two or three persons that are also supposed to be here and are not here you can also also add them or enroll them that is you can also uh, add them to that course register them to that course but the point is that they must have an account on this learning management system first so if the student says that sir i was able to log into the elements but i can't see the list i can't see your course that means the person is not registered on the course okay this is how you can help the person click on when you get to the course click on participants when you don't get into the participant come here click on enroll once you get to the enroll then type the name of the person so it will go straight into the database bringing everyone with the name so all you need to do now is select which of them i'm actually referring to you can see below how do i'm not do below how, i mean uh, yeah i made i don't know let's assume it is this person i simply click the person now what is the person's right or privilege is he a lecturer or student he's supposed to be just a student right okay you don't need all of this again then you come here and click on enroll me enroll users so immediately you do that when the students get to their end they will be able to see the course there okay but i don't intend to register this, this student can do there will be a video that will guide students on how to also register themselves so we may not need to bother ourselves about it but in a situation where you care so much to have the student register one by one so you can get this done okay and in a situation where you want to remove a particular lecturer or a particular lecturer not allocated the course you want to remove him you simply come here click here then on enroll okay your course okay 
now talk about how to now develop the course okay talking about how to now develop the course when you have the material and you're about maybe you have it in pdf or you you have it in microsoft word and you are looking at okay i want to put this material online for my students okay that's the next video i'll be touching on so at this point let me just talk for the sake of people that may not be able to comprehend for so long when the video is done so let me stop here so thank you